What's up guys? Welcome back. Now the fun is going to begin. We're going to use Python to harness the power of GDAL and OGR. So if you remember, we used the OSGO shell to basically call all of these program or these executables or scripts, whatever um, was in here. And now we're just going to, instead of using the OSGO shell, which is kind of limited, we're going to use Python to basically do the same thing, call these functions. And then we can just use Python however we want to uh, just kind of glue things together and make it more customized. Um, so the way we do that in Python, there's the subprocess module, which basically allows you to feed the command prompt functions. It basically, when you call the uh, subprocess, it's basically like this, and you would give it the parameters. Um, but in Python, we give it the parameters in the form of a list. Um, so I'll just I'll get started and show you what I mean. Um, and one other thing, I'm using this PyCharm. It's uh, it's an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, I believe. And it's just a way of, it's a program that helps you code. Uh, this is just the one that I use. It's free. I recommend it, but um, you don't need it. So let's just get started. So I'm going to make a new file, and I'll call it um, gdal underscore OGR uh, script. It's a good name. Um, and the first thing we need to do is import that subprocess module. So import subprocess. So this gets installed with Python by default. So you don't have to go out and download any module. It should come with with uh, your install of Python. Um, and then we can import OS. We might need to use. Um, so I've learned to use the subprocess module to to call functions, like to call the command prompt. Um, other people use os.system, but I've just read recently that subprocess is kind of the preferred way of doing it. Um, so basically what we're going to do is, in Python, we're going to use the subprocess module to call the command prompt and feed the command prompt parameters. So the first thing, let's go back to that cheat sheet and kind of see what that syntax was. So we're going to do that merge vector thing again, but we're just going to do it in Python instead. So we need to first do this first command, this OGR to OGR. Now in the OSGO shell we could just say OGR to OGR. That's not the shell, hold on, it's command prompt. Here's the shell. So we could just say OGR to OGR and it knew what we were talking about. But when we're in Python it has no idea where that is. So we just have to set a variable OGR to OGR location, set it equal to um, the actual location of OGR to OGR. So if you remember in your C drive, this gets installed app or bin, and it's in here. So we can copy this address as text, paste it in here, and then OGR to OGR dot EXC. All right. Um, next, while we're here, let's just make some variables for the inputs. So we know the inputs are going to be file one and file two. Remember, those are the ones that we merged earlier. So we're just going to make inputs, make variables of these inputs. So we'll copy this location. So we'll say input one is equal to, oops, um, file one.shp. And we'll say input two is equal to file two.shp. And then let's make another input for the output. So we know we're going to want an output, and we're going to call it merged, just like we did earlier. So um, we're just going to make this merged. It doesn't exist yet, but we're going to make it. So output location equals same director. So it's on my clipboard. I'm just going to copy it, paste it, I mean. And uh, we'll call this merged via Python dot shp all right so now we have all of our parameters we can access them in python now we just basically need to make those two state those two commands so we need to make these we have to form these two things in python now when we use command prompt in osgo shell everything's separated by space but since we're using python it just gets um uh, we use commas so we're going to make a list and it's kind of like common practice to call this command so command one equals, and it's going to be a list. So the first input is going to be that OGR to OGR. And uh, 
just like the cheat sheet says, OGR to OGR. But since we're not in the shell, we have to give it this explicit location. So OGR to OGR space, what's the second thing? Uh, so the merge, so the output, our output file and our first input file. So output is output location and then input one is input one. So that's the first command. So now if we ran this, nothing would happen. We have to actually execute this command. So this just builds a list of thing of a list of parameters to feed the command prompt. So now we have to like bring up the command prompt kind of. That's how I think of it. So subprocess dot check call is what we want to call. And what do we want to check call? We want to check call the command one. So basically think of this whole thing as just like opening up the OSGO shell. OSGO. So just think of that as doing this. This just did this. And now we need to give it a command. So command one is going to be all the stuff we would type. So command one is basically equal to OGR to OG, OGR to OGR, blah, blah, blah. That's what that's doing. So that's good. That's part of the um, formula. Now we have to do it again because remember there were two parts to this. So that second part is right there. Uh, let me see if I can do this. All right, so we'll make something called command two. This is just the list, the the uh, list, the parameters that you're going to feed it. So OGR location. Let's go back to that sheet. Dash update. All right, so we don't have a variable for this, so we can just use a string. We could set this to a variable, but we'll just use a string here. So separate it by comma, put it in a sh in quotes, and say dash update. Up. Uh, update, separate it by comma, string again, dash append, separate it by comma. Let's go see what this next thing is. All right, so output and then input two. So output location, input two, and then in string, dash nln, separate it by comma, merged. I think that's how it looked. Let's just check. Yeah. All right. So what it's going to do when we hit, oh, we have to, so yeah, we have to uh, actually call it. So we made the parameters, but we haven't actually brought up the OSGO show and I'm doing the like air quotes in, uh, with my hands. Um, so sub process dot check call. So this is like, hey, open up OSGO show, give it, all right, now what do you want to do with it? Give it this we just made this list of parameters, so give it that. All right. Um, so with any luck, when we play this, it should create a file here called merge via python.shp. So let's cross our fingers, click play, and we know it'll just print finished when it's done. All right, run it. All right. Finished, and you can see it actually updated here. I don't know if you could see that, but um, we'll just look in the folder here and merge via Python. Why did it make this? Oh, this merged was because I, I called it a merge right there. Okay, so let's go to QGIS just to make sure it worked. Come on. All right, merged via Python. All right, that didn't work because I didn't name it. So I think it's gonna be in merged. All right, what happened there is it's because I didn't name that dash NLN thing the same thing. So let's just call this merged via Python and let's get rid of these two files get rid of these and run it again and now it's going to just create one file called merged via Python all right yeah I need to look into more what this does I don't really understand what it's doing but it doesn't matter let's go to uh, QGIS again
right, we'll drag that file in. All right, there we go. Now we have our merged file. So I hope that was helpful. Um, now you can see how powerful this can be. We can string a bunch of different functions together in Python and we can do everything that we normally can do in Python. So instead of having these hard coded, we could ask the user for input. And I think that's what we'll do in the next video. We'll, we'll uh, ask the user to input his location, his uh, all his parameters. And um, But yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.